I love vaginas. I love women. I do not see them as separate things. Women pay me to dominate them, to excite them, to make them come. I did not start out like this, no. To the contrary, I started out as a lawyer. But in my late 30s, I became obsessed with making women happy. There were so many unfulfilled women. So many women who had no access to their sexual happiness. It began as a mission of sorts, but then I got involved in it. I got very good at it. Kind of brilliant. It was my art. I started getting paid for it. It was as if I had found my calling. Tax loss and completely boring and significant then. I wore outrageous outfits when I dominated women. I wore silk and lace and leather. And I used props, whips, handcuffs, ropes, and dildos. There was nothing like that in corporate law. <laughs> there were no props, no excitement, and I hated those blue corporate suits. Although I use them now from time to time in my new line of work, and they serve quite nicely, I must say. Context is all. There were no props, no outfits in corporate law. There was no wetness. There were no dark, mysterious foreplay. There were no erect nipples. There were no delicious mouths. But mainly, there was no moaning. Not the kind I'm talking about anyway. This is the key I see now. Moaning is the thing that ultimately seduced me and got me addicted to making women happy. When I was a little girl and I would see women in the movies making love, making strange, orgasmic, moaning noises, I used to laugh. <laughs> I got strangely hysterical. I couldn't believe that big, uncontrolled, ungoverned sounds like that just came out of women. I longed to moan. I practiced in front of my mirror, on a tape recorder, moaning in various keys, various tunes, with sometimes very operatic expressions, sometimes with more reserved, almost withheld expressions. But always when I played it back, it sounded fake. It was fake. It wasn't rooted in anything sexual, really, but only in my desire to be sexual. But then, when I was 10, I had to pee really badly once, on a car trip. It went on for almost an hour until I finally got to be in this dirty little gas station. It was so exciting, I moaned. I moaned as I peed. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. Me, moaning in Texaco Station, somewhere in the middle of Louisiana. <laughs> with not getting what you want right away, with putting things off. I realized that moans were better when they caught you by surprise, when they came out of this hidden, mysterious part of you that was speaking its own language. I realized that moans were, in fact, a language. I became a moaner. It made most men anxious. Frankly, it terrified them. I was loud and they couldn't concentrate on what they were doing. <laughs> They lose focus, and then they lose everything. <laughs> we couldn't make love in people's homes. The walls were too thin. I got a reputation in my building, and people stared at me with contempt in the elevator. <laughs> Men thought I was too intense. Some called me insane. I began to feel bad about my moaning. I got quiet and polite. I made noise into a pillow. I learned to choke my moan, hold it back, like a sneeze. I began to get headaches and stress-related disorders. <laughs> I was becoming hopeless until I discovered women. I discovered that most women loved my moaning, but more important, I discovered how deeply excited I got with other men, women moaned, when I could make other women moan. It was a kind of passion, discovering the key Unlocking the vagina's mouth, unlocking this voice, this wild sound. I made love to quiet women, and I found this place inside them, and they shocked themselves in their moaning. I made love to moaners, and they found this deeper, more penetrating moan. 
I became obsessed. I longed to make other women moan, to be in control, like a conductor maybe, or a band leader. Sometimes I found it over a woman's jeans. Sometimes I sneaked upon it off the record, quietly disarming the surrounding alarm and moving in. Sometimes I use force, but not violent, pre violent depressing force, no. More like dominating. I'm gonna take you someplace, lay back, and enjoy the ride, kind of force. <laughs> Sometimes I made the woman find her own moan in front of me. I waited, stuck it out until she opened herself. I wasn't fooled by the minor, more obvious moan. No. I pushed her further, all the way into her power moan. There is the vagina moan. Ugh. The clit moan. The combo clit vagina moan. Oh, oh. <laughs> the Latina moan. See, see, see. Triple orgasm moan. <laughs> <laughs> 